welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today, I'm finally going to be filming this blue smoky eye makeup look. Now, I filmed this on Instagram Live a good couple of weeks back. And I just have not got ar gotten around to filming it here on YouTube. So here I am. Um, and I'm going to be using the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. This palette is everything. It's becoming my new fave. Yeah, I did very smoky eyes with like a nude lip and nice glowy full coverage skin. I also turned one of my pimples into a beauty spot. Also, I'm going to be doing something very different in this video today and I'm going to be showing you guys how to cover up or how to blend your foundation all in this area right here. I use a powder foundation in this area simply because it's less messy, it's not going to slip and slide throughout the day and stuff like that. And so I included a routine to cover up any discoloration you may have on your chest, any scarring you may have on your chest. I also covered up my stretch marks on my boobs I and mean, you can still see them but for the most part they don't look as bad as they usually do. So I really hope you guys kind of enjoy this uh, little bit of a really crazy video because I am not used to showing cleavage on camera let alone covering my stretch marks on camera. So um, bear with me guys. Bear with me. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys would like to see how I got this look right here then please keep watching. To hop into this tutorial I'm first gonna start off by priming my face with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. You guys may be wondering why you guys are so far away from me today and that's because my skin is just freaking out and I really didn't want to freak you guys out. So we're just going to bear with the distance for now, okay? Until I have foundation on. Now when I was moisturizing my face, I moisturized my entire face, my neck and my decollete area and that's really going to help prime the skin on your decollete when we put powder on that area if that makes sense so for foundation i'm going to be going in with my black opal stick foundation in the shade rich caramel i'm using all the products that i used on my instagram live tutorial and then when i'm blending the foundation on my neck area i just like to blend the foundation just over my jawline area onto my neck so for concealer, I'm changing it up today and I'm going to be going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC42. Um, but of course you guys can use the LA Girl Pro Concealers. And I'm just going to be using this to highlight under my eyes. And I'm going to blend it out section by section because this concealer does dry down quite quickly. And then going in and just highlighting down the center of my forehead, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and my chin. Next I'm going to be going in with my Yardley Absolute Translucent Powder and I'm just going to be baking all the areas that I need to be set like under my eyes because I have wrinkles under my eyes so my concealer always tends to crease no matter what concealer I use. I'm just taking a triangular sponge, just packing it on. And I'm also going to put some in the center of my forehead. And I have an expression line right here. So I'm going to be baking that area as well. Now if you're like me and you like to laugh and smile a lot, then you definitely want to bake your smile lines as well. Especially if product tends to settle. And also doing my upper lip. So now that I look really crazy, I'm going to go ahead with a more full coverage powder and I'm just going to add some coverage to the areas where I have breakouts on my face. And I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Powder in the shade NC44.5 and just 
packing it onto the areas where I have lots of blemishes. Moving on to a bronzer, now I'm going to be using my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I've already hit pan. I use this every day guys. It's amazing. It really, really is. Just using a light hand and just adding some dimension in my cheekbones, my jawline. My forehead. We want to make sure that there's a seamless transition from your actual forehead into your hairline. And then for the chest area, I'm going to take the same bronzer and just kind of lightly dust the bronzer in like the angle of cleavage. Does that make sense? I don't know, just squeeze your boobs together and just kind of... <laughs> Guys, this is so out of character for me to do on camera, but... I mean, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, you know, just squeeze the boobs. For contour, I'm gonna be taking my LA Girl Matte Press Powder in the shade Coco, and I'm gonna be taking this on my G31 contour brush. This color is dark, guys, but if you blend it out really, really well, you won't have a problem. It just gives you that really, really nice chiseled look, you know? So I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my jawline, my forehead to make my forehead look a little bit slimmer and just make sure that foundation is blending really well into my hairline. Okay, so next going in with my Smashbox Double Exposure Palette and going in with this light shade called Veil and I'm just going to be using this shade to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Espresso and I'm going to be taking this on a fluffy brush and just dusting this back and forth into my crease. And I'm also going to be dusting this color on my lower lash line. Next, going in with a small dome brush and taking the shade Noir. And I'm going to start gradually packing this on the outer corner of my eye and taking it into my crease and also my lower lash line. You basically want to dispense the product on the outer corner of the eye and the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then take whatever's left on the brush into the crease. Going back in with that fluffy blending brush, just making sure everything is nicely blending out. Always remember that when you're doing a smoky eye, you want to keep most of the darkness on the lowest area of the crease. You don't want to go up too high because then we're going to look very scary. My lid shade, I'm going to be taking this beautiful blue color called Midnight. Once again, I'm going to be wetting my brush and just intensifying the shadow even further. Just watch the magic happen, guys. And then also going in with some of that blue on my lower lash line. Just in the center, blending into that black. While I am applying my lashes off of camera, I'm going to go ahead with my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 22 Turquoise. Now we're going to be putting this in the waterline and for me personally, I cannot put a pencil in my waterline unless I warm it up first otherwise my eyes just tend to water so I'm gonna pop this in here to warm up with my body temperature and I'll be right back okay lashes are on and now I'm gonna go in with this essence liner in the shade 22 turquoise and I'm gonna be putting this on my lower waterline And 
I'm really going to be packing on this blue liner. Next, to highlight my inner tear ducts, I'm going to be taking the shade called Blanc and just popping that onto my inner tear ducts. I'm going to go ahead and just dust off all of the bake from under my eyes. For blush, I'm going to be taking my Dupe Factory 9B Blush Palette and I'm going to be going in with this beautiful pink shade right here. And just lightly dusting this on the apples of my cheeks. To chisel out my nose, I'm going to be taking my Benefit Pula Bronzer. I'm just contouring the sides of my nose, under my nose, a little bit on my nostrils, and slightly just above the tip of my nose. To set my face, I'm going to be going in with my Kiki Makeup Ready Rose Juice Setting Spray. This is such a nice setting spray. The fine mist is just amazing. Now I'm spraying this before highlight just so that it can intensify our highlight. For highlight I'm going to be using my LA Girl Strobe Light in the shade 50 Watt. And I'm just going to be taking that on my temples. And on my cheekbones. I'm going to take some of my cupid's bow, my chin, and not forgetting highlighting the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Obviously, we do not want to forget our decollete area, so I'm going to be highlighting my collarbones, my shoulders, ever so slightly, you know, just to bring that glow. And not forgetting just a little bit on the boob area. And if you want blessed with big boobs, this will definitely give you a bigger boob look. Also going in with a little bit more of that highlight. And I'm going to highlight the highest point of my brow bone. For lips, I'm first going to be going in with my fave MAC Plum Lip Liner. And then I'm going to be going in with MAC Honey Love Lipstick. Okay guys, so I'm also going to turn one of my pimples into a beauty spot. So that is pretty much it for this blue smoky eye makeup tutorial that was very 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 overdue here on my channel please comment down below let me know if you guys preferred this kind of makeup tutorial where i added bits and bobs with regards to the decollete area you guys know it is wedding season so i thought i might as well do a video like this so you guys know how to create a flawless kind of situation on your decollete if you want to show off the cleavage you know um and yeah highlighted the shoulders for the first time ever i'm doing like a tati trick here um i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe like my video comment down below let me know what you think all that great funky stuff don't forget to slay all day every day with and without makeup and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye